Hudson, the OERB Master Teacher Coordinator. Over the next few weeks, our team of Oklahoma Master Teachers will be bringing you some exciting lessons and activities that will cover many different topics. We'll cover topics and subjects such as math, science, language arts, and social studies. Today's lesson, Petroleum Byproducts, is brought to you by the people of Oklahoma Oil and Natural Gas. Okay, let's get started. Have you ever wondered where all the things we use every day come from? Have you ever wondered what they're made of? Would you be surprised to learn that thousands of everyday products are made from oil? We call them petroleum byproducts. Petroleum literally means rock oil. Also known as crude oil, it is a liquid mixture of hydrocarbons that are found in the pore spaces or tiny holes of rocks. We all know that petroleum is a part of our daily lives. Just a few of the things that are made from petroleum are nylon, plastics, rubber, gasoline. So today, before we begin our activity, let's take a look at a short video on the life cycle of oil and natural gas. If someone says plastic, what's the first thing you think of? A water bottle? Your cell phone? And where does that plastic come from? Two things found right here in Oklahoma oil and natural gas. 96% of all manufactured goods contain oil and natural gas byproducts. Today, we're going to look at how natural gas goes from deep underground to the products you use every day. Once it's found and produced, natural gas is gathered and pumped through hundreds of miles of pipeline to refineries where it's separated into methane and ethane. Ethane is heated to 1,500 degrees in a process called cracking, which yields pure hydrogen and ethylene. Ethylene is piped to another plant where it undergoes a second reaction to form plastic powder, then melted and formed into polyethylene pellets, which can make, well, just about anything you can think of. So next time you pick up your cell phone or anything made of plastic, take pride in Oklahoma's natural resources that make thousands of things we use every day possible. Now after crude oil is extracted or pumped out of the ground, it's sent to a refinery to be heated and separated so it can be made into thousands of different petroleum byproducts. In today's activity, we're going to model the separation of crude oil. Okay, in this lesson, here are the list of materials that you're going to need. You're going to need coffee filters. If you don't have coffee filters, you can use paper towels. You're going to need a medicine dropper. If you don't have a medicine dropper or a pipette, you could use a straw. You're going to need black water-based markers. I used five. However many you can find, that's what you can use. So here are some examples of water-based markers. You're going to need some masking tape so you can mark your pens. You're going to need paper and pencil so you can make your predictions. And you'll need a cup of water. You can put your coffee filters or your paper towels on a paper plate. If you have paper plates, you can use those so that the ink doesn't soak through to the table. I don't have any paper plates, so I'm going to use a cookie tin. So these are the list of materials that you will need. Now I'll show you how to get it set up. The first thing you're gonna to need to do is set up your paper. So if you're gonna use coffee filters, then you'll wanna spread them out nice and flat. You can put it on your paper plate or your cookie tin, whichever one you're using. If you're gonna use paper towels, you'll wanna to cut them in a square. So we're gonna take this, and we're gonna cut these in a square like this. I already have one here on my cookie tin. The next step is to label your pens. You want to label your pens with a piece of tape. You're gonna take a piece of masking tape or whatever kind of tape you have, and you're just gonna wrap it around the end and you can label it. One, two, three, four. You want your number on your pen to match the number that you put on your paper. Now, we're going to draw the dots on our paper. We have our pens labeled, we have our paper labeled, so now let's draw our circles about the size of quarters. All right, so here's our 
dot for our number one ink, number one marker. Here's our dot for our number two marker. Color it in really well. Okay. Now we're ready to make a prediction. What colors do you think are gonna be in each of these dots? You can use your paper and pencil to write your prediction or you can use crayons to draw your prediction. So you predict which colors you think are gonna be in each one of these pens. Okay, next, we're gonna put drops of water in the center of our dots and see what happens. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. So we put 10 drops in the center of that one. So let's put 10 drops in the other one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You may have to practice this a few times to get the right amount of water on your paper. So it's okay if you need to practice using your dropper. The black markers that we're using represent the oil. The ink in the black markers can be separated into all of its different components by using water, just like oil can be separated into all of its different components by heating it. I wanna show you how mine turned out. I would love to see how yours turns out. Okay, as you can see, my number one pen, there's a lot of turquoise and some brown in the middle. My number two pen, brighter turquoise, and looks like pinks and dark colors in the middle. Oh, look at my number three. It's got more purple in it and dark in the middle. Number four, it looks like lavender to me. Number five, it looks really dark in the middle and some turquoise on the outside. You know what I did? I took an extra coffee filter and I created a design. I don't know about you, I'm not very creative. I bet you could come up with a much better design on your coffee filter or paper towel than I did. There are lots of ways that you can use this. All right, I've shown you how mine turned out. I would love to see how yours turns out. So later in this lesson, we're gonna tell you how to tag us on social media. So be sure to stay tuned. You're also gonna have the opportunity to find additional resources at the end of this lesson. One of them is a lab time with Professor Leo if you wanna learn more about this activity. In this activity, we modeled the separation of petroleum when it was heated. Now take a look at the Tower of Power. At a refinery, different parts of the crude oil are separated into usable petroleum byproducts. The crude oil is heated until each component reaches its boiling point. As the vapors rise and cool, they turn back into liquids. Heavy petroleum, or fractions, are found at the bottom, and light fractions are on the top of the distillation tower. To wrap up, in today's lessons, we learned that we rely on thousands of products made from petroleum. Things like plastic water bottles, pest containers, eyeglasses, sunglasses, medicines, face masks, inhalers, band-aids, thermometers, toothbrushes, toothpaste, makeup, televisions, cell phones, computers, Xbox, PlayStation, and many, many more. How many can you find in your home? Today's assignment is to locate petroleum byproducts that you use in your home. Pick your favorite petroleum byproduct and create a piece of art. You can draw it, color it, or create a graphic however you want to represent your favorite petroleum byproduct. What do you like to do when you're at home? One of the things that I really like to do is bird watch. So my very favorite petroleum byproduct are my binoculars. I can't wait to see what yours is. Okay, we want to see what you've come up with. So once you get finished with your project, 
Please post it on social media and tag us on Instagram or Facebook at OERBOK. By doing so, you could win a prize. I hope you've had as much fun as I've had today. And don't forget, over the next few weeks, our Oklahoma team of OERB Master Teachers will be bringing you some very exciting lessons and activities in all different subject areas and topics. See you then.